Finney's feud with Diddy actually began in the late 2000s after he accused the Sean John mogul of making money off his late friend, Biggie Smalls. But in recent years, the differences can be distilled down to one thing, vodka. But how exactly did Diddy and 50 Cent's beef pan out? What happened and who triggered who? That's what we're finding out in this video. But of course, before I spill anything, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now, let's dive in. The rival brands, 50 Cent's FN Vodka and Diddy's Ciroc, have led to some truly hilarious social media slams, but the pair insists it's a playful battle. Diddy appeared to be correct, as Fiddy sent heartful wishes the rapper's way after the death of his longtime love in mid-November. R.I.P. to Kim Porter, I send my condolences to her friends and family. She was loved and will be missed dearly, the rapper wrote on Twitter. So, let's have a short breakdown of what happened between the two rap artists. Before we begin, let's just get to know a little bit about the two. Fiddy Cent's real name is Curtis James Jackson III. He is most known for his impact in the hip-hop industry. Growing up, he had a tough childhood and is reported to have started selling substances at the young age of 12, but later pursued a musical career and in 2000 produced Power of the Dollar for Columbia Records. Although that was never released, as he was shot a couple of days prior to release. However, in 2002, after he released the album Guess Who's Back, he was discovered by Eminem and signed to Shady Records under the aegis of Dr. Dre's Aftermath Entertainment and Interscope Records. With the help of Eminem and Dr. Dre, he became one of the world's best-selling rappers and rose to prominence as the leader of East Coast hip-hop group G-Unit. G-Unit was an American hip-hop group formed by longtime friends and East Coast rappers 50 Cent, Tony Iago, and Lloyd Banks. Now, let's get to know P. Diddy, who is also sometimes referred to as Puff Diddy. Although his real name is Sean John Combs, unlike 50 Cent, he worked as a talent director for Uptown Records before founding his own label Bad Boy Records and has since cultivated artists such as the Notorious B.I.G., Mary J. Blige, and Usher. However, life for P. Diddy wasn't simple either. Though his mother was a model, his father, who worked for the U.S. Air Force, was an associate of convicted dealer Frank Lucas and was shot to his demise in his car when Diddy was two years old. Diddy earned himself the nickname Puff as a child because he would huff and puff when he was younger. So, where did all this beef start, you ask? Actually, we have to go back almost 22 years to 1999, when Fiddy dropped his single How to Rob, from his unreleased LP, Power of the Dollar. In the song, Fiddy describes robbing a who's who of popular musicians at the time from Lil' Kim and Jay-Z, and name dropped P. Diddy, saying he would steal Kim from Diddy. Then in 2006, Fiddy Sen decided the notorious B.I.G.'s death must have been P. Diddy's fault and master plan. This was only the start though, after the assassination of the notorious B.I.G. and Tupac Shakur that stemmed from the 1990s East Coast slash West Coast hip hop rivalry. Fiddy took it upon himself to try to solve the mystery of who ended Biggie and the answer must have been P. Diddy, of course. Four years later, Fiddy then accused P. Diddy of exploiting his late best friend's demise bizarrely in the form of a Twitter petition. In 2014, Fiddy called P. Diddy single garbage and called him gay. In April 2014, Fiddy also ran down Puffy single, Big Homie, calling it garbage. Puff's still out there. He don't even need a record, cause he don't got one. Like, you know, Puffy ain't got no music that you wanna hear. Not to mention, Fiddy then went on to claim that Diddy was gay. Through his Instagram, in late 2014, Fiddy set up a rival vodka business and called P. Diddy's vodka Puffy Juice. Fiddy then upped his game in the attempt to take away business from Diddy by launching his own vodka brand to rival Diddy's who had been involved with Ciroc since 2007, in a deal that gives him 50% of the vodka brand's profits. Since Diddy jumped on board, Ciroc has become a staple of hip-hop, gaining shoutouts on songs from Kanye West, Rick Ross, Kendrick Lamar, and countless others. Fiddy Sen decided that he wasn't going to let P. Diddy win. So in late 2014, Fiddy signed a deal with FN Vodka for an undisclosed amount. As soon as Fiddy signed with FN, he had one goal in mind, knock Diddy off his throne. After throwing out some tweets at the end of 2014 calling out Ciroc, or as 50 calls it, Puffy Juice, Curtis turned up the competition in 2015 and made the best use of every opportunity. In June 2015, 
Fiddy used P. Diddy's arrest as an opportunity to make fun of him, so in the middle of June 2015, Diddy was arrested on UCLA campus, where his son attended college and played football, for attempting to assault a strength training coach with the kettlebell. Fiddy Sen quickly leaped at the opportunity. In an Instagram video, which Fiddy has since deleted, he sits at his desk, talking on the phone to an imaginary person. Yeah, man, I heard Puffy went Sarah Coco on the coach with a kettlebell, followed by a short of him counting hundreds and claiming it as Puffy's bail money. P. Diddy fired back at Fiddy with his own Instagram shots, posting a photo of the two sitting together and wishing Fiddy a happy birthday in the caption. His present, a lifetime supply of Ciroc, the supreme ultra premium vodka, in August 2015, Diddy made a dig at Fiddy, calling his vodka business a little company. In the same month, when P. Diddy made an appearance on The Breakfast Club at New York's Power 105.1, the show host Angela Yee and Shama Lane the God pulled out a case of effing vodka with a note attached, let's be friends, Curtis Jackson. Diddy shot back, when you're first starting out in these little companies, they don't really have a lot of supply. So that's with Homeboy's Vodka. Sometimes, maybe, you can only send a case. It wasn't reported whether Diddy actually took home the FN. Fiddy also compared P. Diddy to a homeless man in a bizarre Instagram post, which is ironic because Fiddy has filed for bankruptcy in July of 2015. But this did not stop him from mocking P. Diddy by comparing him to a homeless man. Fiddy sat next to a homeless man and captioned the picture, me and Puff, sat and kicked it today. He said, Fiddy, I'm getting too old for this. He said, I know. Hashtag FN Vodka. Hashtag Frigo, hashtag SMS audio. The man was clutching some dollar bills in his right hand, perhaps suggesting that the rapper may have made a donation despite his own financial battle. In 2016, Fiddy called P. Diddy the devil. He also continued accusing Diddy of crime on Instagram, that Biggie had passed away because he danced with the devil, the devil being P. Diddy of course. In 2018, Hay turned to love and Diddy said Fiddy loved him. Really? However, by this point, it seems maybe the Hay just finally turned into love. In the same year, Diddy addressed Fiddy's comment during a visit to Power 105's The Breakfast Club. During the interview, the Get Rich or Die Trying rapper said that he called Diddy a fruitcake. Over the years after Puff wanted to take him shopping at Chris Lighty's wedding, yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. What? I'm a nice guy. I have no beef with Fiddy. He loves me. He goes on to add, y'all can't see that he loves me. You really think that's hate? When you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. Yeah, it may have been love all along. Seems like the two do deep down love each other, and what may have started as a feud turned into a friendship. They say there is a fine line between love and hate. It takes a lot of time, effort, and energy to hate someone. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.